That's how you get heartbreak. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that was so nasty, bro. So what's perfect about this, all right? Right before we get into this, he's turning for the flash here. He's going to flash. You're trying to interrupt a play coming up long. So players are coming up long. You know they're in this area. This area is when you want to flash them because they have nowhere to stand. There's no cover. This is kind of a losing position, actually, if Hunter only gets one because of the cat split coming in. But it helps Nico at least separate his engagements a little bit more easily. Instantly, he's re still responding to the amount of pressure coming in by using this flash to release some of that pressure. And then we're going to look at the target selection here. Look at this. You think he doesn't see taps in? He 100% sees taps in. But who is more blind? Legally blind. Also taps in, okay? And not only that, but he's stuck on this wall. Every time you flash someone when you come out, they will always end up going towards this wall. And Hunter has taps in lined up, taking out the hard target first and the guy who will become unblind first. Okay, this is target selection. And then as soon as Tapson can shoot back, you can see that right there, that Tapson comes to. Krimbo would have come to sooner because of where that flash landed. So that was unreal target selection. And that's why this is godlike. This whole thing is godlike. I'm spoiling it. I know this game is godlike. I casted it 20 minutes ago. Have a sip of my Coke Zero. 